Do you want to try it with a better? You want to try it with a better megaphone? Your megaphone is much smaller, though. Okay. Well, who are you? Who are you with? We're gonna do. Let's do. Let's do like uh, fast money. Okay. Timothy McVeigh is he a terrorist? What was that? The Oklahoma City bombing? Is he a terrorist? I'm not gonna comment on him. Okay. Okay. Ted Kaczynski is he a terrorist? I'm not gonna comment on the 9/11 hijacker. I am not gonna comment on any of them personally. That bitch ass got fucking shin splints in his damn feet that a doctor he paid for and he didn't fucking run so he can kiss my ass too. All right, so we're out here at the Donald J. Trump for President peaceful protest. Very epic. We've got this megaphone here. This megaphone is 1200 watts. The strategy when purchasing this megaphone was literally just Amazon.com megaphone sort high to low. So we passed by, there were some people protesting, they were calling people fascists, etc. And they had this like teeny tiny handheld megaphone. You might notice that it's actually impossible to hold this like a pistol. You actually have to satchel it. You have to go Indiana Jones with this boy because it projects. This dude takes 8C batteries. I don't know what the approach is. The approach can either be the traditional John Doyle where we take the MAGA hat off and we're cordial and we ask questions or we can go 2016 energy Owen Schroyer walk in there with the MAGA, the fake MAGA hat on because I forgot my real one with the megaphone that like drowns theirs out. I mean the Don could probably hear this. Donald Trump is epic. Let's go. That's loud. <laughs> The, the raw masculine energy of the officers just like taking their threats is nothing more than just like banter is just like so powerful. That's an interesting physiognomy. My friend, where did you get those dance moves? This is what democracy looks like dancing with the stars. Are you dancing for Biden? I, I don't f with Biden. I'm a socialist. Oh, so it's like a strategy. This is what democracy looks like. Are you voting for Biden as like a, an accelerationist this strategy? Or just because you don't like Trump? That's what democracy looks like. Could I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, um, do you believe Black Lives Matter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, oh, you believe in the movement too. The movement Black Lives Matter, yeah. uh, certain parts of it, yeah, yeah. So. I, I, what, nice what, what, you. What, are, what are some parts of the movement that, like, I guess you'd want to see if I agree with or that I don't? Oh, I don't bootlick police or Nazis, man. I'm sorry. Do you think I'm a Nazi? I don't think you're a Nazi, but you know, you the boot doesn't look back. You lick it, you lick a Nazi's boot, cop's boot, it's not gonna lick you back, buddy. I'm Do you think the police are Nazis? Hey, would you want to talk to me? Yeah, sure. How are you? I'm good. Uh, so I was just asking him what he was out here doing, and then he said that I might be a bootlicker or something, so he just didn't want to talk to me. Oh, okay. Well, I know why I'm out here, and it's to protest Donald Trump and all of his supporters. Are you in favor of Biden or just against Trump? Oh, I am in favor of anybody. Literally, a piece of sh could run for office, and I would vote for that piece of sh before the other piece of sh that's already there. Which is Donald Trump? Which is Donald Trump. Donald J. Trump, a.k.a. piece of sh What don't you like about him specifically? Oh, let me start. Well, there's the affiliation with him and Ghislaine Maxwell saying that she's pretty cool. Then you have our separation shit that's going on down uh, at the border with the Child Separation Act, okay? Then you have the farmers, all the farmers that they were promised all this to them and what happens to the farmers? Oh, they're gonna get checks to shut them the f up so they don't say nothing? Yeah. Okay, then he pisses on our fing troops. We got men and women dying for our fing rights, for everything that that man's supposed to fing be, and he shits on him. And he says that they ain't nothing but losers and cowards. But guess what? That bitch ass got fing shin splints in his damn feet that a doctor he paid for, and he didn't fing run, so he can kiss my ass too. You could have gave a speech like that, it would have been epic. You could have like yelled too. That would have been cool. So, you know, Trump is bad for humanity. Okay. Right. If you look at his mismanagement of uh, COVID-19. Oh, are we six feet? Let me make sure. <laughs> All right. But if you look at his mismanagement uh, of, of, I mean, of, of a litany of different issues, um, he's put a great amount of human lives at risk. What, what rhetoric don't you like about immigrants, for example? You mentioned that. Um, 
So he called them like rapists and drug dealers. He associated them with that. And I just didn't like the way he was speaking with them. That's the, the, the announcement speech that he gave from, uh, I think, Trump Tower it was? All, all of his speeches, he's called people animals before. The MS-13 gang members? Yes, but they aren't, they're human beings, no human, in my eyes at least. And I hope everybody's, no, no human being is an animal. Are you familiar with the types of things that they do though, like as, as a gang? Like, have you ever heard of a Colombian necktie, for example, where they'll cut your throat open and take your tongue and rip it down? That's just, that's something that an animal would do in my opinion. Like, not to reduce their humanity, however, you know, when you're behaving in that, that way, yeah, I think but, that... But when you call people animals, even if somebody were, let's say, an MS-13, you're setting a precedent for how we treat people. I wouldn't even call... I, I have feelings about Trump, but really I don't blame his supporters. Yeah. I wouldn't call them deplorables like Hillary did. I would not call them animals either. So I really wish that the right and the center right could understand that nobody is an animal. Everybody is a human being. I don't care if you're an MS-13. You are a human being. So for like treating people well, do you think it's more important that we don't call the people who like murder people and rape women and then like gouge out their genitals to like preserve their feelings by not calling them an animal so as to not set that precedent? It's important to call them out but not to call them an animal. You can what would call you call them, them in, in your like ideal? I don't need to call them anything. I just want to call them human beings because that's what they are. Human beings that maybe are involved in criminal activity. I don't see you as less of a human being because you're involved in criminal activity. We're not talking about like, you know, petty theft though. We're talking about like going into cities and that. What I'm what I'm saying is a lot of people make mistakes throughout their lives. I'm not going to label anybody a terrorist ever. Ever. That is any of those types of labels to associate animal or terrorist is disgusting to me. It's sick. When I described the way that they go about, when I went and I described the way that they were like raping women and gouging their genitals out, your reaction to that was less extreme than the reaction to the prospect of Trump calling them animals. Why do you think that is? So here's the thing. I am concerned as about that. It's an international issue. Yeah. But we have a national problem here. President Trump, we got to deal with him before we talk about this country did this shit. Well, maybe we should have some higher standards. Yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah. But Trump's going to be out of office in a few months, maybe even four more years, whereas the people that are here committing those crimes, like, they're not going anywhere within that time frame. So I think kind of following your train of thought, we would have to do something about them first and then deal with the fascists in the, in the White House. We have to deal with Nazis first. Okay. Nazis are always the first thing that you have to crush. Yeah. A fascist does not belong in politics, ever. A neo-fascist never belongs in the political arena. I don't care what your political ideology is. None of those people should be there. What, in your opinion, are like three of his worst policies, if you had to just pick? I mean, 200,000 people. So we're 4 to 5 percent of the population globally. Uh, 200,000 people, 200, people, nearly to have done, nearly 200,000 people have died from COVID-19, which is um, about 20 to 25 percent of the global deaths. Yeah. Um, to me, that is a scale where you can compare him to other world leaders, yeah. to other people in his class, mm -hmm. if you will. And it shows um, how poor he is as, as a leader, right? I did see something. I'm just curious to get your thoughts on it. I read somewhere that hospitals actually had a financial incentive to inflate their COVID death counts by conflating the actual cause of people's deaths so they would get more money from the government. Do you think there's any like truth to that or that might be symptomatic of Trump and his, his leadership? Or? Yeah, I, I would challenge that. I think that um, I think that there are people who were probably had symptoms of COVID prior to March that we may not know about. Yeah. Right? I think that I mean, I know I'm telling you my personal experience. I know several people that died suddenly and were not tested for COVID. Yeah. So that's what I know. Okay, you can uh, look at whatever studies you, you, you know of, but that's 
that's what's happening. Experience. Yeah, that's what's happening in, in this part of the world, brother. Yeah. Yeah. I would not even classify them as terrorists. So I feel like we should have the same type of vibes towards each other, okay. where we don't treat each. We're gonna other do. Let's do. Let's do like uh, fast money. Okay. Timothy McVeigh is he a terrorist? What was that? The Oklahoma City bombing? Is he a terrorist? I'm not gonna comment on him. Okay. Okay. For, Ted Kaczynski is he a terrorist? I'm not gonna comment on the 9/11 hijacker. I am not gonna comment on any of them personally. I don't condone terrorism at all, but we cannot just categorize people because here's the thing: when you call somebody a terrorist, it's a political term. It's a way. It's a political action. Political attention to say, look, this person is a terrorist. It's for politics. It's for your political gain to point out this person's a terrorist. Look at them. Isn't the the whole point of terrorism also for political gain, though? Why why isn't that as much of an issue? Here's the thing. There's a lot of forms of terrorism. So there's like international domestic. Yeah. I feel that the police are terrorists. They, that's the one group, and federal forces, I do feel that. Do you wanna try it with a better, you wanna try it with a better megaphone? Your megaphone is much smaller though. Okay. Do you want to talk to us? You seem like you're a warmer person. I don't know why. You just oh, seem more inviting. Did, did, did Jane ask you guys politely to leave? No, no, he actually talked to us for like 10 minutes. I'm just saying that because I'm the <laughs> oldest one here. You, look, you're laughing. You're so nice. I was, so, do you mind if I ask what you're out here doing? I'm I mean, it's obvious, but you know, I have to. campaigning for Joe Biden. For Joe Biden? Yeah. Is it for Joe Biden or against Donald Trump, or is it kind of both? Both. <laughs> More for Joe Biden. Yeah. See, honey, at my age, I knew Trump. I knew about Trump. You probably knew Biden, too, right? Oh, yes. Yes. Voted for senator when he was running for senator. Yeah. Yes. I'm 74. Okay. Almost 75. So for someone like Joe Biden, who's been in public office for so long, I just wonder, like, what new things he can bring to the table to sort of change the, the paradigm in this country. Well, what do you think? I figure anything before Trump is an improvement. So anything that Trump has done for four years, anything that we can go get is bound to be an improvement. What are your biggest problems with Donald Trump? Well, let's see. He's a liar. That's the big thing. He's a liar. So do you think that Joe Biden is like an honest politician or is he just kind of the lesser of two evils in your opinion? No, he's an honest, he's not just an honest politician. He's an honest man. See, that's the difference. You gotta, you gotta look at the men first or women. Yeah. But you gotta look at the person first. Yeah. You gotta look at their morals, their scruples. And Donald Trump has none of any of those. Do you remember back when he ran for president in 1988, Joe Biden, and his campaign actually imploded because he was caught plagiarizing a speech uh, from a British politician, and so he, he had to step down, and then uh, he didn't get the, nom the nominee. So is that like something that you would take issue with, or do you remember hearing about that story? Or do you think, does that affect the way that you perceive him? Or what about the cases that he's had, or the allegations that have been made against him for sexual assault? Do you think that those are as credible as Donald Trump? No, because Donald Trump's, they've already, I mean, these cases are waiting for him to leave office, okay? Yeah. So, make America white again. Is that a quote? Uh, a quote followed by most people that support Trump, I believe. You know, they want more of the white supremacists to go around. And obviously, I'm not one for it. So, do you think that they know that, or are they just sort of falling for it? They just sort of follow for it. Okay. They kind of believe with it. Like what of, are some of the things that he says that you think kind of get people to kind of go along with that? Um, Other than, of course, make America white again. Uh, well, it's like a well for the white part. It's usually great, but I kind of believe it as white. Mm -hmm. Let's we'll see you if we know, can talk to some of your friends. The last time that I held up a campaign sign. Yeah, which which election was that? that oh wait, was can I guess? Okay. Was it for Clinton? Yes. Big brain. You Let's go. You by my age, so you're thinking back. <laughs> yes, it was for Clinton. Yes, I held a sign. And he got elected. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you think that you might be the... I mean, as my cameraman always says, correlation is always equal to causation. So that might actually be the case. See, I'm almost 75. I got a terrific memory. Welcome to Kingswood Community Center.
Actually, that's the one down I used to work. As a joke. You didn't know where we were anyway. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's great to be here and uh, back uh, at a place where, uh, you know. Uh, and all this stuff about pedophilia, give me a break. There's nothing wrong with kissing. If you want, I mean, you know. I kissed. I, we came from an era of touchy. Yeah. We hugged people. Do you think there's anything wrong with kissing pretty women? And them not okaying it? <laughs> well, you know, when you're a star... Well, I don't want to kiss a pretty woman, but... When you're a star, they just let you do it. I know, that's what I've heard. <laughs> What's up, boys? Yo, was that you just one that came by? It's a peaceful protest. Yeah. Our yeah. megaphone is bigger than yours, and our d are bigger too. What <laughs> 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 do I do? I push down the button. Don't want no short dick, man. Don't rape me, creepy Joe supporters. Get the f out of here, you pedophiles. <laughs> the police that you hate are saving you. That is called irony. Bro, that was epic. <laughs> they're f***ing right by the cops because they're scared, dude. <laughs> no, absolutely. That was funny. We saw you guys mobbing and I had to like go undercover. And so we were like literally Weren't pulling up. Yeah, I, I was like, yeah, there. yeah. And so uh, you guys walked, because when we were walking up, we had the megaphone. So we were like, let's go. And then you guys came by like an hour later, like, let's go. <laughs> no, but the, the best part is the cops got it. They were like, dude, come the cops, on. Were, like, laughing though, so yeah. We were like, scam your eye blue, bitches. And like, yeah, 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 yeah. Were those like teachers union guys? I I don't know, but they were talking about having sex with kids, so... <laughs> Probably teachers you need. <laughs> yeah, those are the people teaching your kids. Very epic. Oh, oh fuck. 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 Boys. Hey, G little, man. Give a little outro clip of us. Give a little bro, bro. <laughs> knock him. Damn. Oh, wait, I gotta knock him. <laughs> I gotta knock him. Bro, that's the dragon energy. That's the dragon energy. That's what they're afraid of. Young men. Our country. That was the funniest thing about that, is we had me, cameraman Badan, who, you know, he's behind the camera, the guy's a Chad, I'm a Chad. We had this sedan, this crappy, like, 2004 sedan. I couldn't even recognize the manufacturer. And these high-energy young guys, and we're just engaging in some, you know, potentially escalative banter. I don't know if that's a word, but you get what I'm saying. And uh, the dissonance on that side is so funny because, like, they immediately default to the elementary school you guys are gay you guys are gay but it's like your side does not allow you to say that you could be canceled for that so they're out there larping biden yay progressivism yay and then the second you know the boys come by they're like you're gay i did stuff with your mom pee pee and it's just like you know kind of cringe they probably all watch porn probably all some closet furries we're gonna pray for them and uh we're gonna make america great again we're going maga mode the police were all having it. It's MAGA season! Let's go! Greetings. Do you have a name for your order? John. Thank you. Would you like a receipt tonight? Uh, that's okay. Thank you, though. How may I serve you? Uh, boy, I, I kind of got like distracted by the prospect of Chick-fil-A. I didn't really think about it. Do you know what you want? Uh, I'm going to be real bad. I'm not sure. Actually, no. Yes, I do. Can I please have one sandwich? Um, just a regular one and then some large fry as well with that and ample Chick-fil-A sauce with that, please. Yes. Uh, could I get just a deluxe sandwich okay. and then I would also like ample Chick-fil-A sauce okay. <laughs> if, if that's possible. Yes. And then uh, I think we should be good. Alright. So we have um, a Chick-fil-A sandwich, a Chick-fil-A deluxe sandwich, a large fry, and then some Chick-fil-A sauce. Yes. Okay. Total is going to be 1077. Card. Uh, card. Okay. You should read off the card I'm information to be honest. I'm going to be a regular swipe right down here. And do you guys have a rewards app or no? We do not. Alright, then you guys are all set. Alright, thank you so much. Love you. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. Yes, an eventful time Love to you. the Chick fil A drive through. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Everyone at Chick fil A is so nice. That's like their gimmick. That's like their thing. Yeah, but like... Yeah? How did you know that? Um... I'm magic. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You guys are all set to go to the window, though. 
But we, should, we just met. How are you going to call wait, me by wait, name wait. and then we're done? Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, my name is Josh. How are you doing? What's up, Josh? Yo, um, J-Club, his middle name starts with a J. D. Yeah, his, his first name starts with a J. My middle name starts with a J. Is, uh, you guys coming around? No. Oh, is it like... Oh. Are you like, <laughs> I'm going to buy you a drink sometime. Oh, okay. it could be this time. I was gonna say, I was gonna say that we could like start a band, but then you were gay. <laughs> <laughs> but I really want a band though. Wait, wait, wait! What do you, what do you play? Wait, wait, wait! What do you play? What do you play though? No, no, no it's too late. No, that's valid. Hey, John. <laughs> Yo, let's go! Dude, oh my gosh, how's it going, Noah? What? Oh, my apologies. You look like someone I know. Oh, I don't know you. I know you now, though. What's up? Hey, dude, what's Let's get some nugs. Jo oh, damn. Bro, Josh just hit on me, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. You don't know how you feel about it? He's, he's, he's got just such charming eyes, but he's also got, you know... I know. Yeah, you I know. Didn't, well, I, like, I wasn't gay before I met Josh, but, like, maybe now I have to, like, no. Now I'm questioning. I, I'm I question like the sunglasses. I like the glasses deal. Oh, thank you. No, I, it's, like, it's kind of hype, right? Yeah, it's kind of hype. I, I like it. I'm a fan. Yo, you left me hanging on the Nux though, so I'm gonna have to come back yeah, for that. Yeah, let me you good? Okay, you can to transfer it. Oh, uh, uh, there we go. For you, John. And what's your name? Nathaniel. John and Nathaniel. Okay, I'm Charlie. Next time you come through, I'll remember you guys. Let's go. I'm coming back here for you, Charlie. Really? Yeah. Just for me, John. Just I'm coming back here too, man. Just Thanks, for you, Charlie. Oh my gosh, I appreciate it. I hate to leave, but it's 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 it hasn't it's been that long. Oh, hey, have a great night. Bye bye. I love you. I love you. God, I love Chick Fil A so much. This is what they want to take from you. The Jesus chicken. Yeah, when they're out there protesting and they're out there, really what it's about is taking away the Jesus chicken. They don't want that. They don't want just a bunch of young white people joking about being gay. That's literally what they want to take. Which from is you. hilarious, by the way. <laughs> they want to take that away from us. Seems to be the case. <laughs> <laughs>